Hi, I'm Scott Mocha. I'm the Head of Solutions for RTT USA. RTT is a global leader in visualization for aerospace, automotive, footwear, sports, and luxury items. And today I'm going to show you a demo of Fluidyna, Real Fluid, and Delta Gen. And you're going to see it on the Kepler-based Maximus platform. Totally fast. Check this out. All right, uh, so the first thing we're going to do is, uh, within DeltaGen, we're going to load some geometry. So in order to be able to do any sort of analysis, you need good geometry. We've prepped this geometry specifically for this demo, and uh, now I'm going to open up the geometry, select it, and isolate it so that we can then use Fluidyna. Now as soon as I open this Fluidyna, switch it over to GPU, now all those calculations are going to be sent to Tesla cards. So what does that mean? It means I'm able to see the data while it's being crunched on Tesla. Really cool, check this out. We'll start the simulation, and it actually takes a little while to, to spin up, so let's give it just a moment to bake. Now that we have four seconds of simulation time, what that gives us is four seconds of data as if this car has been driving at this speed for four seconds. It's a lot of data, but it's being now calculated in real time we're able to take the cut plane, which the cut plane is where Fluidyna is doing its calculations. We're able to take that cut plane and move it. Now you'll see I'm moving it down and we're going all the way to the driver's side mirror. And you can see the way the drag changes, the way the, the, the study changes as we move this stuff around. It's unbelievable. Now as we've done that, all this is happening in real time. Now remember these calculations on Tesla, the video on Quadro. So these things are working independently of each other and giving me this one result. Okay, so if we run the same process on the CPU, we don't have time to show it all to you because it's slow, but let me give you an idea. Now, we were calculating on the Tesla cars before, now we're gonna calculate them on the CPU. Now, this machine is, is no bad machine. We actually have 12 cores, 12 Xeon cores at 3.43 gigahertz per core. But even then, it's nothing compared to what the Teslas can do. So as you can see, this is uh, one of the greatest advantages of the Kepler-based Maximus platform for me because I'm able to actually use my system. Um, previously, is I would start a calculation like this and I'd actually have to walk away from it. Now I'm able to do it, to save it, and to show it in moments. And you just, you just can't put a price tag on that. That's a quick look at what the Kepler-based Maximus system can do to your computational fluid dynamics. It's pretty cool, isn't it?